Hi everyone, it's me B, and I'm on again today to do one of my personal readings. However, this reading may apply to the viewers who are watching. Okay, so today I'm going to do a personal reading for one of my subscribers called Isabel. Um, the deck that I'm going to use for this reading is called, oops, see if I can pull it closer, it's called Simply Deep Tarot. And it's by James Battisby. This is the, this is the Schiffer version of the deck. Because I know that he had his own version. Which you can find on his website. Okay. So. Like I always do. I've cleansed um, this deck with Polisante. I've put the cards the right way up. So that if the cards do appear reversed in the reading. That is because they've been shuffled that way. So, Isabel would like to know if she's on the right career path or whether she should treat her career as a hobby. Okay, so let me shuffle the cards offline and ask the cards to advise me on this question. I'll put this here as a prop while I'm shuffling the cards. Hi, Taro. So, Isabel would like to know if she is on the right career path or should she choose what she's doing for a career as a hobby. Again, is Isabel on the right career path or should she choose what she is doing as her career as a hobby? I'm asking you to connect with my guides so that I can answer this question for Isabel. Okay, so let me shuffle these cards a bit more before I split them. Okay, I think I've shuffled the cards well enough. So let me cut these cards. I'll just move this out of the way so I've got a bit more room. So I'm going to cut my cards. Okay, and repack them. Okay, so the spread that I'm going to use today um, for Isabel's question is called the question game spread. And it's a seven card spread. Okay, so let me start laying the cards. So that's card one, card two, card three, card four, card five, card six, and card seven. I'm sorry folks that these cards aren't all in view of the camera. But like I always do, I will put each card in focus of the camera as I'm reading the spread. Turn these cards around. I'll try to put them as close as I can. Right, let's crack on. Okay, so Isabel, position one is your situation or your problem. So the card in position one is the King of Swords. And, you know, your, your question was, you know, um, should I stay on the right career path or should I treat my career as a hobby? So, you know, I do feel, I, I do feel that, you know, that, this is all your kind of faults. The problem is, is that you're overthinking because, you know, I've, I feel that you're a very shrewd businesswoman. You run your, your business like um, a courtroom, <laughs> you know. You suffer no falls and you're all about making results and, and getting productivity. So I think that your actual question is actually in your mind and it's just 
it's not really a reality. Okay, so position two is, this is how it happened. So I feel that um, this question, this position is actually um, saying the reasons why you're pondering on whether to um, stay in your career or take what you're doing as a hobby. And I think, I feel that maybe that you've been going through some hard times and you just want to move away to safer waters. So maybe you, you feel that just by, because I know that your business is a, it's a spiritual business, so I feel that you just feel that maybe just do it as a hobby and don't do it as a career as you're going through hard times. Position three is how do you feel right now? And you've got here the justice. So I feel that you're, you're trying to like right the wrongs. You know, I, I suppose because this one here I feel is about you moving away from hard times. So I feel that you're trying to fix that, trying to right the wrongs and, um, you know, make everything okay so that you can continue to be the productive, shrewd businesswoman that you are. Okay, so... Position four is, what are you afraid of? Got the hermit card here. So I feel that you're afraid of just being um, on your own, i.e. having no business, ha having no clients, you know, just being alone. Um, and it could also be as well, because I'm not sure whether you're actually a sole business, yeah, but maybe you kind of at times feel unsupported and um and stuff and sometimes when we're alone we, we can reflect on on kind of situations like this and learn from it but i feel that you're a person that doesn't like kind of conflict and that's a fear for you you know trying to be alone and trying to solve the situation but you really do need to kind of like right the wrongs of what's going on in your business stroke career so that things can be fixed. Okay, so position five is what will happen in the future? And we've got here the world. So I think things will, so for the shine folks, these cards are quite shiny. So I think that, you know, the world is your oyster. I think this situation will, will, will I feel this situation will be cleared out. Sometimes when we're going through bad situations or difficult times we kind of have to kind of confront it and deal with it you know don't brush it under the carpet you know in order for our business to go back on on track so I feel that this card is kind of like saying to you that you know things will get sorted things will get will come to a conclusion you know the world is your oyster and just put things out there to the universe as well to, you know to try and rectify troubled times Okay, so I want to read these three cards in the centre before we move on to these final two cards. So, your career path, I believe that you're a shrewd businesswoman and, you know, your career is a spiritual career. Um, suffer no nonsense and stuff like that. Currently, your business or career is going through some troubled times and you want to kind of, like, move away from that situation. You know... Um, you've been th you've been kind of like um, pondering and thinking, what's the best way to fix this si fix fix this situation? Sorry, but you need to kind of like you do need to f face it. You do need to um, you know face it and fix it. And I think once you've done this, these troubled times will move away, and everything will be concluded. Yeah, because the world is your oyster. Okay, so card six is what is the warning that the, the tarot what is the warning that the tarot cards are sending you? And you've got here the hangman. Oh, it's quite shiny. So I feel that you're a person that doesn't like to be put into uncomfortable situations like this. But sometimes you, you need to put your you need to think so that you can fix various situations. So I think this card is kind of advising that don't step back, don't pause whenever you, you're confronted with um, 
comfortable situations because what you tend to do is kind of like move away from difficult situations you know um overthink it kind of thing and then do nothing which is not good if you want to kind of like right the wrongs of situations that are happening in your in your career stroke business you know things need to be tackled and brought to an end to be quite honest okay and your final card which is position position seven is the suggestions that the, or the advice that the cards are sending you and you've got here the two of cups which is quite interesting because for me i see this cups sorry for me i see this card as partnerships and unions yeah and and inter intimacy so it's interesting that how you had this card here which was um in the position of what you're afraid of you, you know i think it's saying that maybe you should consider partnering up with um another business um so that you can kind of like um bring greater knowledge into your business or greater experience into your business because because two you know two's company to be quite honest because i think that when you have situations you kind of like go into yourself yeah with returns to your business move away um from the, from this difficult from difficult situations yeah don't face them you know you, you kind of stagnate yourself and pause and you don't like to deal with the conflict that goes on you know but if you had um a partnership or a partner you know in business i f i feel that um it would ease in the burden um in relation i mean the, your question was are you on the right career path or should you take your career as a hobby and the two of cups is yes um is a yes but i feel that whatever's going on in your business that is making you kind of question whether you should actually stay in that career it's going to probably come to an end you know within two months you know it's not going to be a long outstanding thing um and i feel that um you know that you're very passionate about your business you know but if you kind of bring another person into into or another contract or get a contract you know you know merging with other people can can make can kind of like enhance your imagination and bring harmony um i feel that the bad times that you're going through at the moment because i feel i feel that you're going through some bad business times because because of this card you know this card to me is all about difficult situations those are going to be over soon you know as i said earlier two months so and in regards to a hobby i think your business is a hobby of yours i feel that you're very very passionate about um your business you know as displayed by this one here the king of swords he's a very passionate person so you're very passionate about your business and it can go either way you know if you do choose to leave that's that's cool and if you do and if you do choose to take it as a hobby that's okay as well the actual cards are putting the question back to you the choice is yours isabel so i hope you found this reading useful and i hope other people viewing this video can also take um advice from these cards you know especially if they're, if they're thinking about their career path and stuff like that um i will put a link to this deck in the description bar please do feel free to comment you know people might have other suggestions for the card meaning because as I, as I always say people do read the cards differently so thank you so much for watching and you'll see me soon bye